Hey everyone, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, July 26, 2011. Uh, first things first, I want to wish my mom a super happy birthday. Her birthday is Friday. Um, I'm sure she's going to be 21 this year and be legal to drink. Um, so happy birthday, mom. There will be a gift winging its way to you uh, via outpost in the next couple of days. So that should be there hopefully by your birthday. Um, so happy birthday again. So the very first thing I want to talk to you about is what is behind me. Um, last week, I actually a couple of weeks ago, I acquired a used pegboard for very inexpensively and then discovered that they're actually only about $6 at the hardware store, but I only paid like $3 for this one, so that's okay. Um, I also got some of the little pegs that come with it, so I installed this pegboard. It, it was already painted when I got it, so um, I got it installed and used some of the pegs and hung my stuff on it. And it is amazing how much stuff, let me move over so you can see it. Um, this is my thread rack that I had before on the wall. And I actually um, anchored the center of the pegboard so that I could hang my thread rack in the center. So thread racks in the center. And then I have uh, tape and cutting tools and stuff over here, some patterns and stuff. I actually have more cutting stuff over by my cutting table. I have a couple of sets of rotary cutters and since I have a cutting mat by my sewing machine I keep rotary cutters here and I keep them over by the cutting table too. Um, and then on this side you hear my squeaky old um, doctor's chair. I don't know if I've ever mentioned my doctor's chair. I have, when you hear me rolling around and squeaking, I have a doctor's stool from like the 1950s, 1960s that I got at a thrift store years ago and it is it has the funky you know green metal legs and everything and it spins and everything this is what I sit on when I sew and I love it I think I paid like two bucks for it um, but it is a little squeaky I need to WD-40 it soon so this side um, I have like all my sewing machine needles my bobbins I have some Harry Potter stickers up there that someone special sent me um, I have my quilting stuff, and this was mostly sewing machine accessories, and then on the other side are more like tools and stuff. So, very cool, excited that I have this up. Um, I'm thinking about getting another one, because they're six bucks, and I still have a bunch of the pegs and stuff. And I have over my cutting table where I, I could have like a whole nother set of tools. I still have a lot of tools and stuff. Um, these drawers are from Ikea. This one, the big one... Yes, the big one I actually got in like 1996 and I've had it forever. That's This was my first box of sewing stuff and when I first got this, everything I owned fit in it sewing wise, um, except for fabric, which I didn't have much of that anyway. Um, the other one I got a few years later and that was the biggest one they had and it's not as big as this one and it's a little bit deeper so it's, they're not quite the same size. I used to have them stacked, you probably remember from previous videos. But then when I redid all this, I moved them and I actually took every drawer out and cleaned out all these drawers for the first time and I honestly don't remember when. So anything that could go up on the pegboard went on the pegboard. And this is all like elastic and Velcro and snaps and stuff like that. Stuff that n doesn't really fit anywhere else. It needs a little drawer container like that. Um, so it's sewing stuff, not really quilting stuff, but there is sewing stuff in there. Let's see, I have all kinds of goodies to show you guys today. Let's start with all of the stuff that I have been either getting in the mail or given by friends lately. First of all, I need to thank Cynthia, who watches my videos. Cynthia and I actually live in the same area, I just don't see her very often, and she gave me a whole bunch of the uh, cardboards from Fat Quarters, and she had given me some previously, so I don't know if Cynthia has been shopping recently. So what I do with these is I stamp my sew hook stamp on them and then I write notes on them that I put in with orders and I put them in with when I give away prizes for my different communities or for my website or whatever. I use these for these so I recycle them. So thank you, Cynthia. Um, in the mail from HP Fry Freak, among other things, um, when she sends her Linus donations, she often sends little goodies for me. And she sent me three fat quarters. This one has spools of thread. This one has monkeys, which cracks me up. Amber, how did you buy the monkeys? Because I know how you feel about monkeys. And this one has rubber ducks, which are hysterical. She actually used this fabric in her Project of Doom. Because if you remember um, Chamber of Secrets movie, when Arthur Weasley asked about the rubber ducks, rubber ducks. In the mail from Queen MLV, 
And Mary, you'll have to let me know if this is supposed to be a prize or if this one is for me because I would love to have one of these, but um, I'm okay if this is a prize. She sent me another quilt label, which may or may not be a prize for the Project of Doom. We will see when Mary lets me know. And she sent me this cool bag. She sh was showing these bags on her, one of her Talk To Me Tuesdays recently. And it's the bag made out of the t-shirt. But you have to read the front of this one. There we go. Thorn and Company. Which would be a Hobbit reference for anyone that is not aware. Also in the mail from Maria Rose. A green fat quarter. For the Project of Doom uh, prize pack for August, there will be a pair of machingers in there. And these are gloves for machine quilting. So this is a greeting card with a real spider web on it. How cool is that? So this will be in the Project of Doom prize pack for next month. So thank you guys for the stuff. Thank you for the fabric. Thank you for the Project of Doom prizes. Uh, thank you for the awesome recyclable fat quarter um, little cardboards. Those are really useful. I had a couple other projects last week and I don't, I haven't been showing you guys my Project of Doom stuff because, well, for a couple of reasons. One, I don't show my block until the week of Project of Doom. Um, and if you've been following along, this week is week 28. There are only 30 weeks and then finishing instructions. So we're almost to the end. It's kind of exciting, um, a little bit overwhelming, a little bit emotional. And I will tell you that all of my Project of Doom blocks are done. All the patterns are written. Everything's ready to go, ready to share. Um, I did shed a couple of tears when I put the last stitches in the very last block. Um, and I'm not gonna show you my blocks, but I wanted to show you my box of blocks. This is, whoops, almost uh, give you a sneak peek. This is all of my Project of Doom stuff. So between the muslin and one of the pieces of paper are the ones I've already embroidered. Um, I'm on number eight, which is not very far. Um, nine doesn't have any embroidery. Ten has um, six books in it, so I will get those done. Um, I'm enjoying the embroidery. It's going a little slow just because I've had a lot of other things to do, but I am getting it done. I am doing at least a few stitches every day. Um, I have a feeling when school starts I'll probably pick up the pace because I'll be doing carpool again, um, especially now that it is very unlikely that my daughter will be driving to school at least the first couple of months, possibly the first semester, um, because she won't have a car to drive now, um, which puts me still doing two carpool lines. Um, which is okay. I'll make it work. Um, I usually park and that's my quiet time and I do hand stitching or crocheting or, or something. Sometimes I just sit and look at my phone and get on Twitter and say I'm sitting in the carpool line. So <laughs> if you ever follow me on Twitter and I uh, say I'm sitting in the carpool line, I'm usually sitting at one of my kids' schools with my car off and the windows rolled down just waiting for school to get out. Um, so anyway, this box, I can show you this because this is actually, um, piece right here this is a mistake piece that I took out that I made it and it looked terrible so I took it out and I just stuck it in the bottom but this box is a scrapbooking box and um, HP Five Freak actually gave me the idea for this I got this at Joann's they were on sale for like three or four dollars and it's a I think it's a 12 inch box but you see how perfect it works Project of Doom fits in there really nice so I'm sure I will use this for other stuff after the Project of Doom's over, but this has been great because my cats can't lay on it. Um, they're, my patterns stay nice and flat. My blocks are nice and flat. And I've had, I have all my papers and everything that go with the Project of Doom are in this box. So that's been pretty useful to have. And I've only had it for like a month because I got it when Amber was here. I'm still working on stuff for my Etsy store. Um, this I have to show and it would actually work better if I had the prop that it goes with, but I left it downstairs. So we're just going to pretend. Um, I designed my own coffee cup sleeve. Um, most of the ones I've seen have buttons on them. So I did like the button, but I didn't like the way it's kind of stretched. So mine has Velcro. But um, this was actually a lot of trial and error with paper 
first, um, and I made a couple that didn't work at all. This one I've already used, and I've already washed it, and I ironed it to make sure that it was completely washable. But check out this fabric. You will be seeing more of this shortly in a project that I will not name, um, I believe, in the last week, but it'll be a different color. So, yes. Um, there's no end to the irony of the fact that my coffee mug wrap has spiders on it because I am very, very, very arachnophobic. So I'm going to make more of those and they will go on my Etsy shop. Um, also, I've been having fun with recycled um, candy wrappers. So far, I have done some bookmarks. And I've actually started working on um, recovering a notebook cover with um, recycled candy wrappers. Because what's better than having your dark chocolate on your notebook? So we'll see how these goes. These are in my Etsy shop. They're very inexpensive. They're just, they were just fun and they were just something that I did. Something else I wanted to try because I have just gads and gads of blue and green fabric. Um, I thought it would be fun because I paper piece and because I chop my stash up. I tend to only buy fat quarters and then I tend to have lots of odd pieces and odd shapes and a little piece of this and a little piece of that. Um, just for fun I went through and I pulled out 40 different pieces of fabric and I ironed them all and I cut out charms which are five inch squares and I made my own charm pack. So this is a charm pack from my stash that has 40 unique pieces of fabric in it. It's on my Etsy store, so if you want to own a little piece of my stash, um, I'm, gonna, I'm calling these super scrappy packs because 40 different pieces of fabric. Um, I'm only going to do one for now, but if this one sells reasonably quickly, I will do more green ones, I will do blue ones. I have a ton, a ton, a ton of fabric, and if you've been in my sewing room, Amber, Jules, Courtney, you know, cat, huh? <laughs> I have a lot of fabric and most of my fabric is tone on tone. So I thought it would be really fun just to be able to share my stash a little bit. So that's what this is. And I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm not flipping you off, I promise. I have a band-aid on. Don't dance and use your rotary cutter. That's your PSA for today. Next week we will have the drawing for the Talk To Me Tuesday challenge that was the July make an effort challenge. So all you guys that have been posting all month long, if you posted the first three, make sure you post this week. You have until, um, well, you have until the 31st. So I'll check anything that's been posted to YouTube. Make sure you put it on live journal and then I will put your name in a hat. If you post it every Tuesday, you'll get your name in twice. And then I have fabulous prizes and I will, um, did I tell you guys I was going to show you prizes this week? I did, didn't I? Sorry, I forgot. I will show you prizes next week. So you guys take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Blah, blah, blah.